The overall goal of the following experiment is to trigger reactive astrogliosis in the adult mouse forebrain by creating a mechanical lesion in order to investigate cellular and molecular processes underlying reactive gliosis. This is achieved by performing a craniotomy and subsequently inserting a sterile scalpel blade 3 to 4 mm in depth and length into the forebrain to create the lesion. Animals can survive for acute or chronic time points and their tissues are harvested at the conclusion of the experiment. Next, tissue can be processed for histological, biochemical, or molecular biological assays to interrogate the molecular and cellular processes driving reactive astrogliosis. The results show that this procedure triggers a strong reactive gliosis, based on the dramatic upregulation of GFAP and proliferation of reactive astrocytes. The main advantage of this technique over other methods like fluid percussion injury or controlled cortical impact is that reactive gliosis can be easily induced and studied without the need of additional equipment. To begin this procedure, disinfect the surgical table with 70% ethanol. Then, cover the entire surgical bench with absorbent pads and arrange the surgical instruments on the surgery table. Next, set up the stereotaxic equipment without the manipulator arm. Place the heating pad on the stereotaxic frame and set it to 37 degrees Celsius. Avoid overheating the animal by placing a small piece of paper towel or surgical pad on the heating pad. Then, cut small pieces of gel foam into a sterile petri dish containing 0.9